greetings, God of Gold here, back again with another video. Uh, I apologize if I haven't uploaded in a while, uh, mainly because, um, I don't know, I've just, I've been busy with my main mod, which I might leave in the description down below, but I also have been busy trying to organize stuff, not to mention YouTube, I've been, it's kind of of a toxic area like in terms of like uploading videos because depending on what you upload it's just I don't know what to do so I guess you could say I'm a little picky about content that I make but there's a reason for it um, anyways aside from the background that I have I am here today to show you how you can edit a mod's uh, vital files. What I mean by that is the dot mod files. Now, let's say for example, you go into the launcher and how do you this is how you make a brief mod thing by the way. So you go to the launcher, you go to all installed mods, then you go upload mod, which obviously you won't be doing. Then you go create a mod. And let's say you just want to call it my mod. You can do the same for the directory, because but the directory is required, so this has to match a majority of the time, or if all the time. So version, this is like the version of your mod, not the supported version of the game. That's automatically generated using the launcher once done. So you could just put something like this, or you could just put zero, it's up to you. Same with the directory, you could do underscores, you could do lowercase, but it has to match. Remember that. This is where all the file stuff is. This is like basically the content, hence the directory for the mod. So once you do that, you create the mod, and you'll get this pop-up. Now, you may see it in your place set. Uh, some reason I did it twice. Actually, no, that was from the other one because that was another test. But basically, once you do that, um, just ignore this. This is only one of these exists, so don't worry about that. But what the main important thing is, in order to edit the path and stuff, make sure it's all correct, you go into the mod files as well as the descriptor. You go the one that's outside the folder and one that's inside. Each and every mod will have stuff like this. So what you do is, let's say if you have a different version, whether if it's 1.10 or maybe if it is 1.11, my recommendation is to do this, the stars, so that this way you can see what it is and how to use it it's pretty straightforward. However, in the future, you may get updates. So, like, you could get 1.12. So, like, once 1.12 comes, I'm guessing that's uh, bound by blood only. By blood only. Whatever that DLC is coming out. Uh, that will probably be 1.12, because each DLC even if you don't have it, you should always update it because along with the DLC, there's a new game patch. Meaning that every time there's a new DLC, chances are it's going to, you know, do another one. Now, there are such things as free DLCs, but they're very uncommon. I've only seen maybe two or three of them here, but it depends on what you have, too. So just keep that in mind. Uh, also... What you can do is so if it really is 1.12 but by the time you're watching this video just do this and hit save do the same thing with here also i gotta mention for the descriptor file which is on the inside of this mod folder you don't have to put pad that right belongs to the dot mod outside this mod folder so Basically, you could do stuff like that, but just keep in mind that, you know, 
when you're making mods, just look out for the pathing. And if you want to, you can change the version, but this one is pretty much optional. But if you're running like a big mod, or if you're a big modder like me, you'll probably update it. It won't affect much in the game. It just tells you, hey, this is, you know, an updated version of your mod. Supported version is way more important. Remember that. Well, and then after that, you just go back into the launcher, go to your playset, find it, and if you can't find it, I'll show you very quickly. If you can't find the mod anywhere on the playset, that is because the mod itself, like right here, I don't know why there's two, but basically, whenever, like if you can't find this, if they are nowhere to be found, you just go into add more mods, and there it is. Stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, so that's how it works. Um, and if you're still having trouble with certain things, like if you're trying to update a mod, uh, well, this is definitely the most common path to take. So, if you're new to modding, I think I, I hope, I think I helped you a little further. And I wish you best of luck. Happy modding, and I'll see you in the next video.